you stand as we confess the words of our faith, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we continue with the prayer of the church. Having heard the word proclaimed, let us pray for ourselves, for all the faithful, and for all people as they have need. For all people, that they may have faith in Christ and heed the voice of God, calling by His word. For the church, that the people of God may pursue righteousness with peace and joy in their hearts. And for all pastors and their ministry of word and sacrament, and for all vocations to the ministry, that the lives of God's people may redound to His praise and glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our President, Congress, Governor, and all civic leaders in their pursuit of peace and unity, for all judges and magistrates in their pursuit of justice with mercy, and for those who protect us from violence and preserve order here and everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, have mercy. For all noble professions and for the flourishing of the arts and music, for favor favorable weather and the fruits of the earth, and for those unemployed, the poor, the homeless, the hungry, and all people in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For all families and children, single adults and youth, for those who teach and those who learn, that they may advance in wisdom and grace. And for catechumens and those who teach the faith to them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord have mercy. For teachers and parents and children and schools as they prepare to open once again, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord have mercy. For victims of disaster, for those stricken by illness or infirmity, for the aged and infirm, as well as those in nursing homes and assisted living facilities. For those who grieve the loss of those whom they love. Uh, for Jeremy's family at the loss of his grandmother Mildred. And for those who meet with sudden death. And especially for those who have requested our prayers. For Jenny and Linda and Ron. And with thanks for Faith's successful surgery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the work of God's kingdom in this place, for our faithful support of the church and the renewal of our parish life through the means of grace, for our communion upon the life-giving body and blood of Christ, and for our growth in grace, that we may attain to the full stature of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Be merciful to us, O Lord, and hear our prayers. Grant to us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be led into all truth and be steadfast in the confession of Christ. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As the offering is brought forward, we sing the offertory, page 159.
As our Lord has taught us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Our closing hymn, 644, The Church's One Foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. You may be seated.
joined us this day for worship and pray God's blessing on you throughout this week. Uh, I don't believe we have any uh, birthdays or anniversaries this week, and uh, I think we're good, so uh, God be with you.